put a safety harness or something? I got a safety yeah, harness. You bring them. I had them. That's the one I took out of there. I might have left them on the other. He doesn't even listen to me. And Zach, he's light as a feather. If he fell, he'd probably float down. Probably like. Oh, you just dive head first. Then you know when he feels when he hits the ground. Look out below. <laughs> so we need the posts to match up so that when they go up and up, they line up. Right. Okay. I'm just hoping we ain't putting too much stress on everything. I was thinking about that, but we shouldn't. Everything should be still be going to the house. We may have to put another, like there I know, I know them are in into something here. We just might be in the plywood, you know, I'm not sure. Where we where we're at with them? Them I know because them are in between the windows. There's them actual uh, trimmer studs. Yep. And we made them solid. Uh -huh. so them I I know the beaming underneath it. So them I'm just gonna run in another long one instead of just holding it up there like we did. You know, because right now we just got it so it's just holding this roof. So now it's gonna hold it like basically another roof like that. I'm just gonna run some ten inch ones in them center ones, which I know they're in there. But then when we run our beam. That's when I'll find our studding. And then wherever our studding is, you know, if I, I'm gonna want to, want to try to get to a, a stud. Yeah. You hit it to a stud. Uh, okay, okay. That's where we're gonna tie it back to the house too. That first, the first one coming up, our first beam coming up is gonna have to be tied back to the house also. While Frankie works on putting the structural elements of the deck together, Zach and I decide to head over to the farm and see if we can't find any of the cosmetic or aesthetic elements that are going to help make this deck stand out a little bit. But to do that, we need to dig through the old wood pile. As we uncover the wood, we start finding wasp nests right away. But it's the ones we don't find that prove to be the biggest challenge. I feel like I'm in the Goldilocks movie. Some of them are too big, some of them are too little, none of them are just right. Yeah. Release the grasshoppers! Yeah, the locusts are terrible up here. All right, uh, well we gotta just find out, find, we'll grab whatever's closest and we'll just roll with it. The wasps are pissed. They were in the out batch over there, and now they're in this batch. Get out of here. Let's make like a tree and leave. And not drop these again like a Dorkenheimer. Mother frickin' 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 frick. Sound bites.
One of them did get me right in the stomach, inside my shirt. Ow. On my finger. And you didn't get bit at all? No. You suck. They're like, no, you're the one who's coming here to disturb our home because you want your wood. Yeah, well, that's that's my wood, not theirs. All right, well, before we unload it, let's make sure that's uh, what we can use good with Frankie because I'm not going to unload that heavy ass crap and load it back up if he doesn't want it. Frankie wants the six by sixes. He doesn't want the six by eights. So, round two. Here we go. So, bring the truck, keep it running, windows up. We both may end up diving into it. to make any more noise than we have to like no I'm not not joking we got to kind of be stealthy about this crap because they are out hey put a tape on these real quick I want to make sure we got the right ones six by six just six by six 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 yep And the wasps are right actual there. Right there. Yeah, their whole hive is underneath that one. Uh, yeah, let's not disturb that one. Okay, measure it six by six and let's grab them and get them the frick out of here. We need two more. I think that one's garbage. But yeah. Is it six by six? No. Yeah, it's a six by six. Is it? Yeah. What is the length on it? Just shy of 60. Uh, we gotta have 60. How's the one underneath? What is the size is that one? It's like a, is that a bigger one? Yeah, it's like a seven and a half by Damn. A seven and a half. Oh sh shiitake mushrooms. by the sprinkler which should feel good except I wasn't ready for it and if I ever wear this shirt again in the future and you see this anybody asks why does he keep wearing that ripped up shirt just tell him I ripped it because I accidentally flexed not because I was running and screaming trying to get away from a bee how's it going up there Frankie uh, hot hot, uh, hot. <laughs> what's that you want to go up and see how he's doing all right all right, Frankie's using the lift. Let's go the cheat method. Well, Frankie's goal was to get it framed in today. It looks like he's gonna achieve his goal. Two, three days ago, I got him a pair of these pants. They keep you from sweating your you know what off. 
cranky. You just wear these. I know they're a little too big for you, but put on a put on a belt if you have to. What does he do? Picks the hottest pair of blue jeans that he probably owns in his closet. <laughs> Yeah, you sweat just getting up here. Yeah. Man, oh man. You think that lift sped things up or no? Oh yeah, I did have to go up and down the ladder, you bet. Not not quite so tiring just moving up and down the ladder and then balancing and gripping with your butt and right. Yep. You bet. Because I would have to throw them long ones up, you know, by myself or when you are. Yeah, you just plop them on the top and we're good to go. Right. I got Zach sanding on them timbers. Okay. So we don't want to sand the character out, but we do want to sand the the gray out, right? Well, I'm gonna to have to cut them, cut them to width or whatever. Would you say the six by sixes? Six by six. So I'll just cut them the four inch way. Or don't you want them? You just want to put a six by center right over the other one. We okay. can put one up there, see what it looks like. But I, I think it's kind. Of, I don't know. Maybe it won't look odd. Okay. So just have them cut one of them in half. The size off. I got sawzall blades on the hand railing down. You want to do that today yet? Yeah, we'll just set it up here. That way he'll know. Cause that way he can't. He doesn't. He can only stay on three sides on them because I got to cut it. You know the width. Ten four. Okay. So if he cuts one, cut, tell him to cut one of them in half, and I'll just, and then I'll, uh, I'll come down, grab it, and I'll just set it in kind of where in place. Uh -huh. and you just look at it to see if that looks odd. Okay. The last 12 months we've gone through maybe three or four different belt sanders just wore them out they were nothing special just cheapies but uh, if there was a good belt sander what would you guys recommend I'd love to hear from you because I need another belt sander and I want to pick up one and you're done oh the boards are coming along good though I figured I'll just sand all four sides because then we can take our pick up which side is the best side yeah and it doesn't take long to sand no it. not with a belt sander it's no like just it, down it, and you're done once once we get it to what sides we want then I'm gonna do I'll do the finished sanding and whatnot and well we want to well, let's get a plan with Frankie put together for tomorrow and because we're gonna call it for this one for today well I'm glad Frankie got out of that lift when he did it's raining sideways. That branch just flew down. Wow. I think it's making up for the drought for the entire year. I said, I think it's making up for the drought for the entire year. <laughs> In one day. A ladder blew over that was next to the other cabin. Oh, it did? Yeah. That branch just flew down. Where? I don't know. At least it didn't hit the machine. Yep. Oh, that storm did some damage. A lot more damage than I was expecting. I thought it was just going to be a quick blow through and let us get back to work, but nope. That son of a duck dropped monsoon like rains. And I, you know what? I'll show you everything that it did. And it did some stuff that I would have never guessed it would have done. But that's on the next video coming right down the pipeline. Now we're going to make this, it took us three days to build this deck. So we're going to make this a three part video. So on part two, we're going to go through the next phase, show you the storm damage, everything else. And then in the final part of this video, we're going to wrap it all up and show you how she all turned out because she turned out gorgeous in my opinion. But you guys tell me what you think of it when you see part three. That's it for the day's video. God bless. Go get them, you guys. We'll see you on another one. Have a great week, you guys.